Um, composer David Karp could not be here tonight, and he wanted, he said the following context that he wanted to make known to all of you. Um, as you probably read in the program, or were told, Homesick premiered at a uh, Holocaust Symposium in Texas a while back. Um, before that premiere happened, the composer, David Karp, and his wife had taken uh, a trip to Ukraine where they intended to find information about his wife's family who had originally immigrated from there to the United States. And unfortunately, while, while they were there, what they found out was that that entire side of the family had passed away in Babi Yar, which was one of the first and greatest Jewish massacres that occurred in the area. Um, he remembers going back to the hotel, sudden, you know, was shocked by this news, really, and telling his wife that he just did not have language, he didn't have words to express how he felt standing in that place and seeing, feeling what had been done in, in that place and what humanity can do. Um, and his wife told him, well, you are a composer and you have another language, you have another way to communicate. And he thought about it, and then when they came back to Texas, uh, he very serendipitously got a call from the woman that was organizing the Jewish Symposium asking him if he wanted to compose something for that. And so everything clicked in, into place, and <laughs> everything clicked into place, and then at that moment he remembered that many years before that a friend of his who was a cantor um, had gifted him this book called I Never Saw Another Butterfly, which was a book that was a collection of poetry and other visual art from children that had been imprisoned at this camp, Terezin, which was known to be a camp in which uh, artists were taken to then uh, twist whatever art they came up with to use it as propaganda to show how you know, the Nazis were not that bad. Um, in the book was this specific poem, it was called Homesick, and uh, even though other things in the book had known authors, this is one of those that we don't know, it is anonymous. Um, and so we think that it belonged to a boy or girl between the ages of like eight and 17. And he said he picked the specific poem because it really spoke to him about it has this weight of this sadness, this darkness of what occurred, and at the same time it has this light of the hope and that is unquenchable in the human spirit. And so he set it to music originally for flute and not clarinet. Um, this arrangement for clarinet was done specifically for us by Benjamin Loeb, who is a student of David Karp, was a student of David Karp. And uh, this is the New York premiere of this piece and the world premiere of this arrangement. And he wanted to point out that you're going to hear a motif over and over again that to me, not being Jewish and not knowing about these things, it sounded like a hunting call. It has a, a fifth pattern, ba -bum, ba -bum. Um, And it is actually, a, a, it alludes to, it, it recalls the shofar and the invitation to a transcendental experience in the darkest of moments for the Jewish people that this instrument has. And um, yeah, that's, he wanted to lift the spirit.
than a year. More than a year.